Hi, welcome, welcome, I'm Freddie and myself. Today we're going to be doing some slow stitching. We're going to make some pockets for our journals. I've got three examples here. I'm going to do some slow stitching with you today as well. And then I'll show you how I put those in my various journals. <laughs> We're going to make some pages for the fairy journey as well. Journey, journal as well. So welcome. <laughs> so glad that you can join me. I do appreciate it. And I will read the live chat out to you. Hi there. <laughs> I'm just reading to the talking to the replays. Here comes the live chat. I'll read it out. I know you don't like to miss out on what everybody's saying, and neither do I. <laughs> Good morning, Gail. Gail and Alvin. Good morning. So nice to see you. And there's Tash. Good morning. So nice to see you. Is this your first time in the live? Because we've been following each other's channels, haven't we? And Tash, you did a journal. You joined in the Flip Through Friday, didn't you? Do you find that a mouthful, Tash? <laughs> I certainly do. Here's Julia. Oh, Julia. So nice to see you. Now, no pressure to keep up with chat or anything. If you feel you need a rest, just yes. <laughs> As we say in Britain, have a break, have a Kit Kat. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, that's so lovely, Gail. I like that. You can actually see what's going on if you have it on the big TV. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Here we are. Look, I need to go back. <laughs> oh, there's Becky. Oh, Becky. Becky's done, did a video this morning. She was flipping through her little revision cards and you've embellished them, haven't you? Becky, so many positive quotes. Thank you. It was, what a lovely way to start the day. All these videos that I'm mentioning, I will link below because depending on your mood, you, some, you might want... A slow start. <laughs> oh, I'm. This is my little needle book from Linda, and that she gave me in the back, printed on fabric, some llamas. So I'm going to use those. <laughs> oh, girl's having her breakfast. <laughs> There's Dar. Oh, good morning, look, Dar. There's Freddie. Is he looking at the... Oh, yeah, he's staring out of the window, isn't it? You can just see his bottom there. Oh, dear. There's Teresa. How are you, Teresa, and your lovely puppy? Your puppy's into everything. Yes. You, you put things down and he takes them away. I know. I was replaying my chat and I, you'd said that. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's a lovely Beth. Good morning, Beth, dear. <laughs> I'm just roughing up the edge of this fabric with my needle. <laughs> I think slow stitching is just such a nice way for us to spend a bit of time together. Oh, good morning, Janet B. So nice to see you. Oh, come on in and we'll settle down for a... It, well, I'm not saying it's in a book, we'll settle down for quiet winter's nap. But we won't do that. We're not going to settle down for a nap. We're going to settle down and spend some time together. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you, Janet B. <laughs> oh, we do love to have plenty of Janets in the chat, don't we? <laughs> oh, mm, Julia. There's a little pickles quote. Oh, thank you, Julia. I will catch up with chat. Let me just, I, I lag and that's fine. <laughs> Barbara, there you are. Good morning, Barbara. Saying, Barbara's coming in, saying hi to the crew. Look at this, man, missing everybody. There's little pickles quote of the day. You may think your light is small. 
that it can make a huge difference to someone who's in the dark. That is wonderful. Little Pickles, could I pester you to message me that? Because that's quite a lot for me to write down, but I will read that out later as well. You may think that your light is small, but it can make a huge difference to someone who's in the dark. Isn't that the truth, Little Pickles? Mm. Becky is sharing, oh, Tash's channel, thank you so much. And Marie makes, am I, have I missed you? Good morning, Marie. Oh, so lovely to see you. Goodness me. Marie makes, oh, so nice to see you. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> and there's Brenda A. So nice to see you, Brenda. Come on in and I hope you can spend a little bit of time with us this morning before you all have to run off and do chores. And if you're over here in Britain, you're sitting down at the beginning of the day, aren't you? Just a little in the afternoon, I mean, just having a little having a little cup of tea, I would imagine. Your first live, Tash, fantastic, because you have been a replayer and we've had little chats in, com in the comments, haven't we? I do love that. <laughs> There's Caroline, good morning, Caroline. So nice to see you, come on in. We're doing some slow stitching. When I say slow stitching, actually, I'm going to interrupt myself because I saw Carol coming in. Good morning, Carol. Talk it, it registered in my head. Oh, Carol. It, and then when I thought of slow stitching, I thought of Carol. <laughs> Carol loves stitching. Oh, now, slow stitching can mean different things to different people. Let me show you some of my examples of pockets, because that's what we're making today. Maria Kay, and so thank you. I'm missing people, and Julie is there just to guide me through. Thank you, Julia, dear. You've put the quotes under that video as well as in your Facebook group. I will link Becky's video Go and do watch the video. It's absolutely delightful. Her pages are delightful. And then in her Facebook group or in the description box of her video, today's video, that's Aunt Bex Creates. Mm. As, sorry, I'm just reading... Julie is helping me with the chat. Um, you'll find the positive quotes from this morning. I tell you, <laughs> I'm going to be using them. Mm. And I have, if I go down here, let me just, mm. it's not one, they're not wanting to come through yet. Sylvia, good morning, Sylvia. So nice to see you. Sylvia's over there and in France. Good afternoon. Gentle thoughts to you, Sylvia. Are you doing your wonderful art? Oh. <laughs> and darling, good morning. I love seeing your artwork in, in Beth's group. Oh, so nice to see you. There's Irene. Good morning, Irene. Ooh. You're going to be here for a while. And while we're together, oh, Irene, yes. Healing vibes um, sending, being sent to you. Mm. Yeah, slow and calm is needed for you, little pickles. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Oh, when I get, let me show you my stream notes. Let me show you these. As soon as you shared that with me, Little Pickles, what I've done here is drawn a little candle. <laughs> oh, yes. We will have 
you in our hearts tomorrow. And as you go forward, little pickles to you and all the little mini me's, yes, and family. There's Kellyanne. Good morning, Kellyanne. We are going to light a candle. We're going to stop our slow stitching. I'm just going to make sure I don't miss anybody. Maria Kay, all the way from Australia. Oh, so nice to see you in the live. We have some lovely chats, don't we, in the comments. And, mm. Oh, lovely. I'm so glad I just keep going back to the chats. I think the videos that I make are more about, they're more about um, seeing closely what we do. I think the lives are about us being together <laughs> and you can craft a way or create a way with me or have your oatmeal. <laughs> There's Jean. Jean B. How nice to see you. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes, Creative Monday. It, it's Jeannie, isn't it? Jeannie B. So nice to see you. And there's there's Lynn. Paper Hoarders is Lynn. Mm. I love that we were all over the world too. I know, Maria's. It's evening time for Maria in Australia. Yes. Have we seen Pam and Puscat? Have I missed Pam and Puscat? <laughs> oh, and there'll be replayers from Australia. Hi, replayers from Australia and all around the world. There's lovely Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. So nice to see you. Kimberly, today I'm making. Fabric pockets, I know you make glorious fabric pockets. Mm. And good morning, so nice to see you. Here's Patty, our great inspiration. <laughs> Come on in, Patty, and I hope that you're able to create and gather some inspiration from all of us and all our ideas today. Mm. Oh, Irene, I'm so glad the happy mail arrived. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Mm. Oh, and Kimberly, you oh, the mail starting to get through. That's so good. Sherry, good morning. So nice to see you. This is Gigi. So lovely to see you. Good afternoon. Are you back? I would imagine that you've done a whole day at work, haven't you? <laughs> ah, already, and you're back with your feet up after working with the children. Kellyanne, good morning from Freddie and myself. So nice to see you. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely. Now, I'm going to light a candle. I think it would be nice for us to shine some light into the darkness. I'm blowing it out, but you're still in our hearts, still in our hearts. I haven't seen, I haven't seen, thank you, Julia, dear. I haven't seen Alicia here, but thinking of Alicia this week too. Hmm. Oh, it's 1am. You can't sleep. So 
you're happy to drop in or how lovely um hopefully you'll be able to relax a little and hopefully we can help that you relax yes um maria hmm. definitely definitely thank you I'll just refresh this chat and then, yeah. Oh, there's Janice. Good morning, Janice. Oh, and I noticed somebody new in the chat here. And thank you to Julia for letting me know. There's Janet USA. Good morning, Janet USA. So nice to see you. Oh, yes, Irene, you will continue to be in our hearts, Irene. Definitely. Definitely. We're lighting that candle. Definitely. And shining some light into that darkness. Yes. Paulina. <laughs> I'm so glad that you've received a warm welcome from everybody here. It takes me a while to catch up. <laughs> Good morning, Paulina. I'm so glad that you found us. Yes, there's always a warm welcome here. Definitely. Definitely. Mm. Mm. You're and you're having some me time, Mrs. Gigi. Isn't that so important? Definitely. I've written it down again on my screen notes because I think yes, last week's quote that Melody messaged me, I think is so wonderful. Shall I read it again? The recipe for today, for today, for us being here together. A sprinkle of kindness, a sprinkle three of support, a generous dollop of radical self-love, an ounce of fresh air, and a spoonful of creativity. I just love that. Such a motto for this, mm, for our streams together, aren't they? Mm. Oh, this this lovely Susan Lee all the way over there in San Francisco. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Malaya's dropping a, a channel link there to Possum Patty. Thank you, Malaya. And to Aunt Beck's channel, would you like to drop a link to your own channel as well? Because I I really enjoyed your video from the hop. I loved your ethos of use what you have. Hmm. There's Sherry Hale there. Good morning, Sherry. We've got two Sherrys in the chat. That's lovely. <laughs> it's going to be rainy, yes, in your neck of the woods. Hmm. You've been slow stitching needle books and you're crocheting covers and tiny doilies for them. Oh, you're... You've made needle books, Sherry. Oh, and you're crocheting covers for them. So, oh, what a wonderfully creative idea. Thank you for sharing that. I get so much from one another. Mm. I know. Measuring spoons, Barbara. <laughs> oh, dear. Pounds and ounces. <laughs> mm. And Caroline singing <laughs> the song about San Francisco. You go to San Francisco, something, isn't it like that? Wear flowers in your hair. <laughs> I think it's something like that. Oh, oh, right down there in my chat that I can't see at the moment. Lovely Julie has informed me that Sue Hennessy is in the house. Good afternoon. With a coffee and a vicky, I am sure, made by hubby. Really nice to see you, Sue. I've 
been thinking of you. How is your slow stitching coming on? There's Dawn. Good morning, Dawn. So nice to see you. Isn't it lovely to have the singing in the chat? <laughs> oh, the singing is lighting our way as well. Mm, being together lights our way. Mm. Oh, Cheryl, so nice to see you. You stay for the amount of time you can. It's so nice to see you. Love to you and Pierre and your lovely Freddie sends his love, Cheryl. Oh. Susan Lee says lots of gentle people in San Francisco. Is that lovely? Oh. Do follow these wonderful channels that Malaya is, is sharing. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm. Oh, Lynn, you live near Possum Patty. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, absolutely amazing. She's such an inspiration. <laughs> Aww. Joan, Joan P, your first live. Welcome. Am I spent, spent saying your name right? Joanne, Joanne. What a, write that down. I've never seen a name spelt like that before. How wonderfully unique you are, <laughs> Joanne. That's lovely. Welcome. I'm so glad that you can join us. Always a warm welcome here. Let me just put my phone there so I don't miss any of Julia's lovely um, messages. Otherwise, she'll be tearing her hair out. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, it's so lovely. Can I just explain what slow stitching is to me? There she is. There's Patty. <laughs> oh, Lynn's in your neck of the wood, Pat, um, Patty. <laughs> right, let me show you. Yes, this was... I'm making fabric pockets, by the way, today, as well as chatting. There's Kathy Jo. Kathy Jo, welcome, welcome. So nice to see you. Come on in. Plenty seats around here. Mm. Plenty seats and plenty cups of tea. There's Freddie. <laughs> so with slow stitching, slow stitching, it's a new thing, really. Trudy, Trudy's here. Welcome, Trudy. Welcome, welcome. Trudy's been crafting and yes, yes. And Trudy will be in our hearts, particularly tomorrow. So yes, yes. So nice to see you. There she is. I can see you now. But thank you, Julia. Thank you. Slow stitching can be anything. It can be raggedy. Big stitches here that I did. Anything goes. Or it can be more embroidery stitches, like on this one. If you know some embroidery stitches, you can you can do those. So it's quite free form, really. Here's a little pocket I made here, and this material was from a lovely replayer called India, and she made she sent the fabric and sent me these little tags and the little tea bag. I think I showed it in one of my videos. And I made a pocket, a fabric pocket <laughs> for my Let's Have a Cup of Tea journal. I'll show you, let me show you how I'm going to put it in. So I haven't, here's my Let's Have a Cup of Tea journal. I haven't, put it together yet so on the, it's made of envelopes so on the back of this envelope I did draw around that and that pocket is going to sit in there 
Now, you might want to stitch this in, or you might want to use a Fabri-Tacky glue. Thank you, Maria, thank you. Do you think they need a touch of gold? I'm wondering whether they do, Maria. <laughs> I could add some gold stitches or some gold. gold leaf couldn't I <laughs> when I see you Maria it just reminds me to add gold <laughs> so literally that my my print stick glue is quite strong and quite a quite a one for my print stick glue I think it will be fine so there it is It's in an envelope now, so it's a folded down envelope, so I can... Oh, Freddie, where are you going, little man? Hello, darling. Oh, he thinks he's late, does he? Oh, hello, darling. I'd like you to get down. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, that's it, Trudy. Just say hi, everyone. Yes, yes. Good morning, Amy from Doki Doki Forest. So nice to see you. <laughs> oh, so that's how I don't use that fabric pocket. And let me show you another one that I did. And this one here. My auntie Jennifer sent me some fabric, and it, this is gorgeous silk. Oh, it well. Gorgeous silk. And this is for my auntie Jennifer. Hi, darling. Oh. Okay. Not quite time yet. You're a little bit early, darling. <laughs> I have to put that down so you can see Freddie. Look at this. This is embroidery. My auntie, left over, my auntie Jennifer made a quilt and, and she sewed on vintage tablecloths. So she sent me a little piece of the leftovers. I've just done some plain stitching around there. But look at this embroidery even on the back. Isn't that incredible? And this is from Becca Creates, Create with Becca. She sent me this little fabric with them um, printed on. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So embroidery, maybe the tablecloth had stains on it or something. And yes, and it had, yes. <laughs> I'm giving it a, a new... Yeah, yes, I when I was there, I didn't I didn't like to invade her privacy by doing the showing you her box of quilts that she's made. Some are all around the world, but others uh, yes. Do, next time we go, Jennifer, in the summer uh, Janice in the summer. Yes, I'll have to show you. So I've got my fabric journal here made for me by Lovely Lizzie Brewer, and I've got pages here. Have I missed anybody coming in? I do hope not. <laughs> there we are. I'm going to simply, I probably won't glue this because I think the glue would come through this gorgeous. Do they call this shop silk? It's raw silk, maybe. I'm going to simply sew that in. I'm not going to pin it because I don't want to hurt my fingers as I go through. And the reason I needed a pocket in my fabric journal is because look, look what Rebecca gave me from, from Create with Becca. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? <laughs> So I'm going to, oh yes, Barbara, I will show you, definitely. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and, oh, Janice, I'd love to show you 
and she does a gorgeous spread of food and and then she collects vintage cotton reels and yeah I would like to make a little video yes <laughs> oh so thank you Rebecca Rebecca's on a cruise so she's not here today she's got a little video up on her channel if if anyone can share Rebecca's channel, you'll be able to see Rebecca's cruise ship room. Mm. Mm. There we are. So we'll pop that in there. So that little cat is going to live in that little pocket. So that's why we, why I needed <laughs> to make. <laughs> Ah, isn't it, Maria, made by lovely Lizzie? I will leave a link to Lizzie. <laughs> oh. Um, maybe show everybody your journal. Barbara's saying you look terribly busy. And so does, so does Primrose Hibiscus as well. Oh, you're collect Right, let me see. This is Primrose Hibiscus's journal. She found a tab and she's got lots of little pictures she's going to do there. Wonderful. Thank you, um, Primrose Hibiscus. She does such a great job. Oh, thank you for sharing the channels out. Mm. Becky, Becky W, isn't, isn't Rebecca's cat adorable, made from scripts and scraps? We could call it Scrappy Cat. <laughs> instead of smelly cat <laughs> a friend's reference there <laughs> and Primrose Hibiscus does a jolly good job of looking after the ATCs I've got one here best day ever sometimes it's not the best day ever and I know that yes but isn't that isn't it cheery a little bird there. Isn't that lovely? So thanks, Primrose Hibiscus, for looking after those. Mm. Oh, right. Yes. It's because I keep saying T E A. Oh, he recognizes the words that come. <laughs> Pretty's like a YouTube algorithm. <laughs> oh dear, oh is me funny. <laughs> oh dear Jeannie, isn't it cute? <laughs> a cute little kitten. I know. Oh, she's so talented. Let's create Rebecca. Oh that oh yes, I will show you. What have you can we, may we? You've got on your desk. Oh, a pile of papers ready for this. Pamela's asking about flow. Oh, let me see. Thank you. Oh, Paulina has three pet birds. Mm. <laughs> Amy, they love their journaling. Let me see. It might come up later or I might have missed it. I might have missed that. It might come up in a minute. Your question about flow. Julia in chat created flow. And she's lived with me long before I started streaming, coming on little holidays. And she has become quite the character. <laughs> she loves clothes. She loves fashion. Mm, loves fashion. And she's done Flo has done a page here. It's not a super page. Stephanie G made this journal here. It's a super page. She's got her journal from, from Trudy in her bag here. <laughs> There's oh Rhonda, good morning. <laughs> so nice to see you. Every day may not be a good day, but there is something good in every day. Because isn't that the truth? 
it's sometimes hard to find those. I think you're speaking from experience there, pickles I know. And that's a little exercise for us to do sometimes, isn't it? Yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> Um, Joanne, it isn't it? Yes, that's, it's the truth, isn't it? Mm. Flo is a secret diva. She's not a secret diva, seriously. She is just full on out there, really. She has her own camera. I think she's on Fairy Tube or something as well. Uh, yeah, seriously. And what has she written here? I just want to make nice things. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? And that little picture's from Anne Lair. And she thinks it's a writing. Those are the stickers from you, Trudy. Lovely. So I'm just going to put that there. She's always so busy. Just little scripts and scraps. She collects these from the desk when I'm not looking. Mm. Paulina, yes, you need a flow in your life, don't you? <laughs> Everybody needs a little flow. Is it like finding out in a child, Paulina, however that is? Yes. I, I, I do do quite a lot of that. Yes. Oh, oh, look, oh, tiny little telephone. There we are. I'll just put that there for you. And I made another pocket here. Look at these colours. Now, these colours are for my, let me get this out now, for my fairy journal. How am I getting on with my fairy journal? Well, I, I temporarily misplaced some of the papers, but I didn't let that get me down. I just made some more. <laughs> so, for instance, this pocket is going to get sewn in I think it's going to get sewn in like that, so this little tab can show. Yes, like this, in my fairy journal. It's coming together, work in progress. Hey, Stephanie G, I was just showing you a little mini journal that you made, Stephanie. And there you are. <laughs> so nice to see you, Stephanie. <laughs> You you heard me call your name, didn't you? <laughs> Rhonda's here with us before she starts work. It's so nice to see you. Mm. Fairy tube, where do you find that? I really, I think it's in another realm. Maybe if we use some of Flo's fairy dust, we might be able to find it. We'll see. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, so that's I'm going to sew that on there and the, the fabric I'm using comes from Janice as in J.L. Johnson Janice this glorious fabric and I've pinned it together because when I make my fairy journal I'm going to have the, the same paper running through and then I've made myself a fabric flip and I'm going to have the same fabric running through the journal so yes so that's what I made from that so thank you Janice for the fabric <laughs> it's so nice mm. <laughs> and here comes here comes here it is. Thank you, Julia. I needed some wine back. <laughs> oh, yes, let's share our dolls on videos. Definitely your dolls and your teddies. Find your inner child. Definitely. If you have one, no pressure. <laughs> There's lovely Marty with a lovely trolley. <laughs> Here she comes. I posted my recipe to you. Um, Marty, I put it in a separate envelope because I thought a small letter might get there quicker than than the 
packet that I sent. So Marty's making our friends of the trolley journal. <laughs> oh, look what in a in a charity shop. Look what Julia found. It was a little game. It's from the early learning centre, and they're fairy cards. And and oh, you will not believe this. Guess what one of the fairies' names is? Flo. So um, Julie has kept one and, oh wow, there's another card in here. And then you, you've kept one for yourself and one to send off, yes. GB, Jean Haney, did I say good morning to you? If not, good morning again. <laughs> I know you've been here. <laughs> Can you actually believe that? So, and there's another card here, and it goes so beautifully with little pickles, what you've been sharing today. This will go in today's pockets. Nothing can dim the lights which shine from within. That was meant to be. I hadn't opened it until today. And it just goes so well with the quote. Mm. Jean picked up a doll at the bins the other day. And you're very tempted to keep her. Yes. Oh, yes. That would be wonderful. And she might like some clothes as well. Becky was making dolls clothes. And so was Pam. By made by Pam. Hmm. incredible that is incredible Beth don't let me forget that I won't because it's on here Beth says that um fairy tube is not on the internet it's on the outer net fantastic Beth it's like why didn't we think of that mm. take care Irene dear mm. you're laying down and you're really tired Thank you, thank you, Irene, sending you lots of healing vibes for your body and your soul and your mind. Take good care, Irene. I'm so glad that you were able to join us for this time. Take good care. Bye, Irene. Mm. <laughs> Maybe a slice of pizza to wash the oatmeal down. <laughs> That's naughty. Beth, that is so funny. <laughs> Thank you so much for keeping me um, lined up in chat. Oh, thanks for this card. Nothing can dim the lights which shine from within. I'm not quite sure whether Little Pickles is here at the moment, so I will share that with her later. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. So the Little Flow card I'm going to put in this pocket and it's going to become part of our pages there. So there we are. That is, those are our fabric pockets. And I'm going to show you a little bit more of what I'm going to do with the fairy pages now. That's it. Yes, rest is so healing, isn't it? Oh, and mm, Maria, I do feel night night sleep well sleep tight and I, I do hope you feel more relaxed now yes yes mm. take care um maria and i'll see you down in the comments we have a little chat soon, don't we take good care rest well and have a creative week mm. So what am I going to do here? These are the pages for my fairy journal. So they're the magazine pages that we did last week. I had to make some more. I did them various sizes. I'm going to do the tab binding. I've made pockets and I've also ooh, made a mushroom shape page. So that's going to go in there. 
Jean, Jean Bainey, has made a star-shaped journal. Haven't you? You remember I made the heart one last week? <laughs> oh, dear, this is all inspired by Patty, Foss and Patty. So what I'm going to do next with the pages, I'm just building up backgrounds at the moment. In my happy mouth from J.L. Johnson, Janice, was this, these lovely napkins. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. And I thought, literally, just as a background, I would put some of these napkins on. And then when I put other elements, I might put some of this napkin on top of those as well. There you are. You, you did a heart. You did a lot. Yes, Pickles did a heart. You used. You don't have to use a magazine. You, I loved that. You used what you had, and you made. You made it from scrapbook paper and made the hinge out of washi tape. I know a star journal. I think the mini. It would be inspiring for the mini me's, wouldn't it? The shaped journals. Brenda A is here in chat. Was it you that was saying at the school they have a machine that cuts the books into a heart shape? Was that you that was saying that? I thought, oh, how lovely, how inspiring for the children. So, yeah. <laughs> So thank you, Janice, for this napkin. <laughs> There's Patty. It's in a um, journaling with Boss and Patty. She's in and out of the yes. It was Patty. You did different shaped pages, and we're all inspired by you. Thank you, making our different shaped journals. And in my fairy journal, I made a mushroom shaped page. This is my watered down PVA glue. Just use whatever glue you have. Oh, this is very gentle. I sat yesterday afternoon with a tray on my lap and made these pages just with these papers and then put the gesso on. And I thought if I don't stress about it, Previous pages I made will turn up. Things turn up. They'll turn up when I found the journal. <laughs> Isn't that the way? <laughs> oh, lovely. So I'm literally just putting these down now as backgrounds. I've got some doily on there as well. Mm. Amy says, um, the um, Pat, she loves Patty's shaped pages. Oh, do go. Um, is it your Alice in Wonderland journal that, uh, that's amazing with the black and white borders, Patty? I love it. <laughs> oh, Kathy Jo. Mm, yes. You, you like the heart shape and you thought maybe a flower or butterfly. Oh, I love that. We take ideas, don't we? And then and then we run with them, don't we? Yes, yes. Oh, do you remember, was it during a video or a live, I showed you the teddy that... This is Christina from Christina's. Oh, gosh, the paper, sorry, it's got caught on your fur, little teddy. Made me this little teddy. Teddy bookmark, is it? Mm. And I read that out last week. Let, I'll read it again. A teddy bear is a faithful friend. You can pick him up at either end. His fur is the colour of breakfast toast. And he's always there when you need him most. And I was making him a pocket 
to go in my journal that I'm making at the moment. And then I thought, make yourself a template, Janet, and make him into a teddy bear journal. <laughs> so it's going to be a little teddy bear journal. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so I'll be making, I think I just did that last night. So I'll be making more pages for him and finding some teddy bear pictures and postage stamps, maybe. Mm. Let's see what's what's happening in chat. Mm. Oh, you singing. Brenda and Joanne are singing. Am I pronouncing your name right? I'm missing it. <laughs> missing the song. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, yes, that song. Thank you. You go down to the woods today. You're sure of a big surprise. <laughs> I love that. Mm. Oh, there we are. How wonderful. Julia has more of the flow dolls in her Etsy shop. How amazing is that? Their flows brothers and sisters oh no sisters we are sisters in me isn't that wonderful what in one of her journals she has a photograph of her sisters oh how wonderful <laughs> do you think they're as much of a diva as our flow i bet they are well just be warned <laughs> she'll be saying Oh, make me, make me some clothes, Janet. Leave some snippets out of the fabric so I can make myself another dress or teach me how to crochet. Sugar Plum. Oh, is her name Sugar Plum? How amazing is that? Mmm, my favourite ballet. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Oh, there's Lisa Jane. Teddy Bear's Picnic Journal. I could call it my Teddy Bear's Picnic Journal. Great idea. I'm going to write that down, Lisa. <laughs> As my work colleague used to say, up there thinking, down there for dancing. Oh, definitely. Let me write it on the template. Teddy Bear's. Picnic journal. How wonderful. <laughs> Might have to have a basket pocket to go in this journal. Let's see how the idea grows. That's right. <laughs> so, yes, that is what I shall be doing with these pages. I need to put these up here to dry. I think I'm going to have a butterfly on each page. And then I'm going to roll up my sleeves. Kerr, good morning. So nice to see you. I'm getting down to the real business now. I am rolling back my sleeves. <laughs> I'm going to put some texture on some of these fairy journal pages as well. You put some texture on the mushroom one. Yes, why not? <laughs> I've got, I got it from, I got it from Lidl ages ago. This is my texture paste. Mm. Cur or care. <laughs> So nice to see you, Kerr. Mm, always lovely to see you. Kerr has got 500 subscribers, haven't you? Yes, congratulations. And you, you, you've got a video for that as well. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> she does have delicious purple hair, doesn't she? <laughs> oh. Oh, right. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Yes. Yes. Just. Oh, yes. Roll back my sleep. I mean business. It's only 10 minutes time to Mrs. Teapot's. Um, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. So texture paste. And now 
I'm late to the party. A lot of you have a, a following Betsy Doodles. I was introduced to Betsy Doodles by, by, oh, oh, wonderful. This is from Trudy. It is Cosmic Shimmer. How wonderful is that? <laughs> Am I be making mud? I don't know. Um, let me see. Is there any fairy dust to add to this? Maybe not. I can have some fairy dust later. No, I really do think I need fairy dust. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's Kathy. Good morning, Kathy. So nice to see you. Oh, come on. Come on. Coffee in hand, I'm sure. We do. It's a fairy journal. I do need fairy dust. <laughs> who can tell me who made this label? It's a very distinctive art way of arting here, and I love it. Yes, sparkly silk doesn't look too muddy. Gold and green, I've got there. Just a little, oh, little smattering of fairy dust there. And we'll mix that up. Thank you for letting me use some of that. Oh, roll back my sleeves again. Mm. I, yes, care, yes. Um, what a beautiful name. What a beautiful name. And I have been pronouncing it wrong. And you have been um, far too polite to let me know. And thank you. <laughs> Bio glitter. Ooh, so soft. Oh, yes, please, Lisa Jane. Do send me a picture. So this is the texture paste. Oh, oh, it looks lovely. Oh, it looks very foresty. Mm. How lovely is that? So, yes, I'm channeling my inner Betsy Doodle because I went to one of her lives. Is it the first live I went to? And she was making her own texture paste, and I was very inspired. This is from the 80s. <laughs> it was when we lived in the flat. Isn't that amazing? And it, it, we were some furniture. I remember we had the stippling brush to do to use use on that. Yes. So here is my very own texture paste. I probably to make that fairy dust go down. I probably need a bigger shape. I will do a bigger shape in a minute. It's just a case of mixing it so thank you for your inspiration Betsy Doodle to create a mixed paint and have a wonderful time with our texture paste mm. <laughs> such fun <laughs> um. stencil mad and round the um tops of the kitchen and yes yes we were definitely mm. there right oh yes lovely and of course i always have to make an envelope ready for happy mail oh pop some numbers in and um we'll send a little happy mail to people there we are oh that way round mm. Lovely. Oh, I enjoy. It. Oh, lovely. It's a beautiful foresty colour, this, isn't it? Wonderful. Mm. And I will send this envelope off with maybe some fairy ephemera. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's use the rest up on another page. I've got this, I just made this out of. They were puffy stickers, I think. I can see the shape of a toucan there. Did Janice go off to work and I missed her? She always sends me toucans. Mm. I now I know, care. I do, I do, I do know now. 
So I've got just some circles. And while you pop in numbers, just to explain myself, with popping in numbers, Thank you, Julia, dear. Let's pop some numbers in just before snack time. And between 1 and 150, and I will go to random.org. And if you're on or nearest under, I pick a number. Oh, lovely. And then, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. mm. I will um send a little happy mail. And oh, yes, do. Oh, you're you're putting one in for Maria because she's gone to bed. Oh, that's so kind of you. I should be on the replay and she'll hear that, Julia. That's so nice. Thank you. Yes, pop numbers in for yourself, pop one in for yourself, and then pop one in for other people. There's lovely Teresa again. You're in the background, aren't you, Teresa? So lovely to see you. There we are. Just ads. These are, I'm making the background, so these are just going to get knocked back. Mm. Let's just, I don't like to waste the paint, so let's just pop that there like that. Ew, lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's just use all that up on there. Oh, you put one in for Irene too. I'm loving that. Yes, pop some numbers in for yourself and other people. Oh, lovely. Mm. <laughs> I will send, I'll be, I'll make up this little, little envelope. Mm. You can tell me that when you win, you can tell me what journal you're collecting for. Don't want to waste any of this. Tracy, so nice to see you. Come on in. So nice. Welcome, welcome. So lovely to see you. I like your name, Care. Such a such a caring name. It, it's what it says on the label, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> so nice. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lisa, so lovely, so lovely. Have we got numbers in now? Because you've got to remember my chat goes so slow. The purple and back. Oh, that's what um, it's a. Um, a huge scarf that Ben brought back from Kenya. Isn't it gorgeous? The the ladies tie them round themselves. Like when I was walking into Croydon yesterday, I saw a lovely African lady, and she she had one around her like that, and the baby was in the back. It's gorgeous, but they they use these scarves. Absolutely gorgeous. Ben said when he bought it, he said, "You cut it up." Do use whatever you want. It's batik. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, beautifully made. Well spotted there, Ken. Mm. Oh, these were from Sandra. And these are the ones. I haven't they grown, Jean, in a week? It's amazing. Oh, Tracy's homesick with a cold. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's so nice that you could catch us live, but not nice that you've got a cold, Tracy. Oh, Becky in chat's just getting over a cold. Oh, it's miserable, isn't it? I hope we can cheer you up a little bit. Yeah. Get well soon. Get well soon, Tracy. Hmm. Hmm. Let me go on. If I'm missing anybody, um, do put it in chat again and this is a wonderful time for me to say hi to the gentle listeners mm. Pauline needs a new number oh well if I pick it yeah don't don't worry too much because it's terribly hard if I've got two people with the same numbers it's just a tiny happy mouth thank you Julia I will just send 
send to. Yeah, it's terribly hard to pick up. I do I find that so hard. Mm. Oh, Beck is giving you advice here. Thank you. Mm. I know. Cut it up. I know. I treasure it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> oh, right, random.org. Between one and 150, generate, 128. Who is nearest on or just under? Mm. Look at just with that little, look at the mark there. I'm very pleased with mixing the gold and the wild moss pixie dust and that uh, i'm very pleased and i'm going to bring that color throughout i'm going to have some coordination in this journal <laughs> really how long will that last mm. yeah thank you apg jamie's channel you're just a quick share from janice as she dashes out of the door oh well done thank you I can't find my phone now. Oh, it's here. 128. I wonder whether you're able to look back at the numbers and let me know. Mm. And it is snack time. It was 101 is the nearest for Maria in Australia. How lovely, how lovely is that? Well, I will make sure I add some gold. I've got a new system here. So I've got that and I've put that on my stream notes and I can just take that off. I'm trying to, yes. <laughs> oh, the boys bought me this for my birthday because I thought, oh, I can use these. But won't it make a lovely little journal as well? <laughs> right. Let's put these up here. Mm. Me. Oh, am I missing someone? Fortunately, Julie is here helping me in chat. Am I missing Lee? Oh, thank you. There's Lee. Yes, yes, I can see you in the chat. Yeah, waking in Canada to your first live with you, Lee. So nice, so nice, oh, it's so nice. And we chatted in the comments too. That's so nice. <laughs> Welcome, I'm glad that you can join us. I'm glad that you can join us today. <laughs> oh, it must be chilly in Canada. We have some Canadian um, family here today. <laughs> Oh, let's get let's get a snack. Freddie knows. Wasn't that funny earlier when I kept saying tea, the word tea, T E A. I was talking about my tea journal. He thought it was it was snack time. How oh, it's so wonderful that you're astute enough. And and into Freddie, tuned into Freddie that you realise what was happening and I didn't. <laughs> Let's get our snack ready, shall we? He says, come on, Mum, so slow. <laughs> Thank you, Julia, for putting in a number for Maria. That's very kind of you. Thank you. I know that she'll appreciate that. Thank you for thinking of her, Julia, dear. Marty's there. Marty's ready. <laughs> Way long before I am. <laughs> oh, Gail's got a gale force wind. Oh, for goodness sake, that's not no fun, Gail. Do you keep warm. Do you, do you have to go out to collect the groceries today? Oh, here he comes. He said, do I have to get down? Oh, okay. Have a then. Yeah. Oh, are you going to sit down? Do you want to give a call? Oh, lovely. Thank you, dear. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not today. Oh, you do. You can stay in. Thank you for all those yummy things. And there's healthy snacks there too. <laughs> you might, if you're on a gluten free diet, you might want to look away when I open the tin. <laughs> nice. You've had a lot of biscuit there, haven't you? 
that's finished now. I'm going to put it up there. That's finished now, darling. Right, you go back and sit down now. Unless you're thirsty. <laughs> oh, that's it. You sit up there, do you? Mm, thank you. <laughs> Penny, Penny's here. It's so nice to see you, Penny. Oh, you, you've come at the right time. We're just having a cup of tea. Have you got coffee in hand? Coffee and breakfast, maybe. You come straight from the gym with hubby. Yeah, so nice to see you, Penny. Oh, Penny has does a live on a Thursday. I just wanted to share this flask with you, thermos flask. Very 80s, we used to have an orange one as well. But they've got glass inside, so they break. So they can smash. But this one is from the 80s. Can you believe that? <laughs> I used to... This is what it was mainly for hot Ribena, which is a black currant drink from when the children were young. <laughs> oh, oh, Becky's been making hearts of love, haven't you? Oh, to, and you're sending them to I Made a Quilted Heart. Isn't that lovely? Becky, Becky has a video of that on her channel. You were making them, weren't you? Mm. Tracy is, Tracy McGabe is enjoying a herd of deer out of the window. Whew. Wow. Sometimes one is in awe and wonder from of nature. Yes. Tracy, that's such a blessing. Thank you for sharing that with us. Gosh. Hmm. Jam tart, anyone? <laughs> very, very rough and ready, mother made. <laughs> oh, you broke one when you were little. Oh, yeah. No, they're very easily, very easily broken. I've got um like a tin tart and one as well that's even older. <laughs> Oh dear, we used to have a food flask as well and have baked beans and sausages in there with bread and butter on an outdoor picnic. <laughs> I've got my stem ginger jam here. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And I've got some jam tarts in my fairy tin. Isn't that gorgeous? That was probably given to me by my lovely neighbour. Isn't it lovely? The fairy journal. Oh, it's a bit, I was going to say, it could be living there. It's too big. Let's just have it for snack time. <laughs> Isn't it a lovely tin, Martin? Yes, it's Dame Cecily. Who wrote the flower fairies? Dame Cecily Saunders? No, I, I'm thinking of, anyway. It's one of the flower fairies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Jean Bailey just ordered fairy stickers. What fun, what fun. Cecily Mary Barker. Cecily Mary Parker or Barker? Yes, yes. Oh. Let's put some milk in my tea. Let me see, what, what have I got to show you today? Oh, I was thinking how it, it's just really lovely that you can spend this time with me. And snack time has been a tradition here in this house for many years. It, it was a little bit late. It used to be about quarter to four in the afternoon. It, at the moment, it's just gone three. But I just wanted, to, I was looking through old photos and here is a picture of Ben and Sam when they were little during snack time. And this is, they're in the garden and they've got, it, knowing me, it's probably a little homemade lolly, I'm not sure. But that's Ben and Sam outside the back door. You can see it's sunny here in this part of the garden and they're in the shade. Ben's just come from school. He's got his uniform on and he's got his hat. 
and there's little Sam in the pushchair and they got their lollies and we used to sit and have snack time together and story every afternoon after school. <laughs> oh, oh, Lisa, Cecily Mary Barker, thank you. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> oh, little Sam in his pushchair. It's lovely. And that later on, I think is it that summer? The garden, because the children in the arms, it's, it's slightly wild. We, at snack time, it knew there was a hedgehog that trundled past a hole in the fence on its way and on there. And it used to have come at snack the same time every day at snack time. Isn't that amazing? A little hedgehog. <laughs> oh, yes, Becky. Cecily Mary Barker was born in Croydon and she went to Croydon Art. She did a correspondence course at Croydon Art College. Yes, she's she's one of our our artists. Yes, yes. <laughs> mm, I know, weren't they cute? It's yeah, it's so lovely to have that little bit of time together. We used to walk home from school. It was just around the corner, so they went. We went long. Hmm. So I shared those two. I'm going to be putting in, this is the journal I'm making at the moment. This came all the way from Australia. Thank you, Colleen. Look at the kingfisher there. What an amazing bird. I am told that the river near near us that we go with Freddy to they have kingfishers there we've never spotted one and I wonder why it's this little one makes too much noise <laughs> good morning cat so nice to see you come on in and there's cat cat loves birds just in time to see the wonderful envelope made by Colleen and that's become all the way from Australia and some lovely, lovely little look at the children helping with the washing. Some lovely ephemera. Oh, they, where's the fairy pocket? That had a little inchy on that Colleen made. Oh, I'll have to show you another time because it's got buried. Oh, well, I'll show you another time <laughs> when I do a flip through of, of the fairy journal. Mm. You have 35 turkeys that come out of the wood every morning. Wild turkeys. Oh, that's incredible. And you're feeding them. That's I guess it's crazy it is to think of wild turkey. We can't imagine that, can we, as, as British girls? Yes. <laughs> wow. So that's the page going to go in there. And another wonderful letter from lovely Pamela and Misty. We usually see Pam, Pamela and Misty in the chat, but they may have gone to bed having an early night. First of all, I was very struck by the envelope. It has such a big, wide pocket, so I've taken that out already. I love the sound of that. And look at this gorgeous, gorgeous little piece of ephemera. Isn't that gorgeous that Pam has created? Look, we've got tea time here and all the things we love. Oh, like dog walking, hearts, rainbows. Mm. Isn't that lovely? Uh, let me see if I can read that. It says love, light, faith, kindness. Hugs and strength. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I love it. Little woolly scar. Thank you so much, Pam. Beautifully made. I love it. 
Hmm. Gail says they have wild turkeys. Amazing. I would enjoy making this into a pocket with that big window. That's going to go in my journal. And let me just show this postcard that came through the post. Is it Saturday? It didn't take long. It's from my niece, Katie. She spent her birthday in Paris with her friend. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. Yeah, Julia has a fox, so <laughs> yes, we can't have wild turkeys and foxes. There's badgers up in um, Julia's woods, though. I say Julia's woods, they're really Ben's woods, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, so thank you, Katie. Beautiful. I love the picture of it. Hmm. So I'm just going to pop that there. And there. If I'm missing anything from you. Hmm. Oh, they, yeah. You could, I wonder whether you can get turkey, turkey eggs. You must be able to get, could you go into the forest and gather turkey eggs? I, I don't know. Would it be safe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Becky says some artists draw fairies for February Fairy, a monthly drawing challenge. Oh, how wonderful. Gosh, I'd love to draw some little fairies. Gosh, that sounds fun, Becky. Hmm. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> ah, Kelly. Kelly's creative dreams. <laughs> We've got two Kellys. We've got Kelly Ann and Kelly. Kelly's dreams. So nice to see you, Kelly. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Only if you're lucky enough to find the nest. Turkeys are very good at hiding their nests. Yeah, yeah, and they're wild. I know. Yes, you wouldn't want to take too many. I don't know whether that. Yes, they might. Protected, yes. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know the rules mm. <laughs> because we don't have turkeys in our country, <laughs> do we? I know they are Ben's Woods, <laughs> Ben's Post Office. Hmm. Hmm. Becky says you can find monthly challenges for each month. That's a wonderful thing to do. Do you ever want to do that? Um, Becky dear, Becky W. <laughs> hmm. There we are. So, is it time? Yes, I think it is. Now, Photos Against Anxiety is Demi. She was here last week in the chat and <laughs> thank you, Cat dear. Hmm. She shared a quote and I missed it in the chat. So when I was reviewing the chat, and again yesterday I did, uh, <laughs> I, um, thank you, thank you, Julia. Um, there's a quote, I missed a quote from Demi, and she said last week, for peace of mind, we must resign as general manager of the universe. For peace of mind, we must resign as general manager of the universe. I'll leave that quote up in the air for you. Hmm. <laughs> Over years, there's, do they live a great life um, care? It, there's been a wild turkey in the parking lot of Big Lots and Joanne, Joanne's fabric store. Oh, how funny. Sort of a mascot. How funny. You, Susan Lee can't understand what, how um, turkeys exist with the coyote, wild coyotes. Mm, but they do. Yes, gosh. Mm. Oh. Let, what was the quote that Little Pickles gave us earlier? Let's see if I can 
find that. I'm going to read that out. She will have sent it to me. And let me just read that out. You may think your light is small, but it can make a huge difference to someone who's in the dark. You may think your light is small, but it can make a huge difference to someone who's in the dark. I think that's lovely. Mm. Oh, Becky is doing a challenge, Becky W. Yes, you try and drawing something different each month. Yes, if you can squeeze it in. I know you've got crazy family life over there. I know you have. That's wonderful. They do say the more one draws, the better practice, you know, you, you practice at it. Yes, yes. You can see your skill level rising. Yeah. Not that you're doing it for that. No, you're just doing it for the fun. I know. Mm. Mm. They must have coexisted with the alligators too. They must be quite fierce then territorial yeah right what have we got here <laughs> right says Jana. i think it's just someone putting a leaflet through the door freddie dear i don't think it's all oh, let me open my phone again i'm missing what julia's saying to me here The mug of the day. Jean wants to know what the mug of the day is. The mug of the day. I like to balance it out and not make it too all about dogs. This says, you are perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yes, they, yeah, yeah, they they are they are survivors, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. Let's find a page to do our prompts. I want to show you last week's prompts. When you make a magazine journal, you do some in the front, some in the middle, some in the back, so it doesn't get all wonky. And ah, uh -uh. yes, I did it on the back of the heart page. And here's last week's. It's it's more about me writing down all the delicious quotes. And he on my snail on the back, here is my give five of gratitude for that day. It was spring bulbs, glue and magazines, tea, Freddy and friends. These these were the things that I was grateful for that day. My give me five. <laughs> so that was when I wrote down the quotes that people share. So let's make, let's find another page. It's not, it's not wonky, it's quite even. This is my glue two together, tear three out magazine page. There we are. Going to do one on here. Let's put some gesso down. Now, we're going to pull some prompts. Hmm. <laughs> oh, dear, you've got your little cat, Nala, haven't you? <laughs> there we are. Let me just roll my sleeves up. Now, you might want to do one of the prompts, all of them, none of them, in a book. My tag, my index card. It's just a way to get your creative juices going. There we are. There's Joyce. So nice to see you, Joyce. Come on in. Mm. Paulina, thank you. I had such fun making. It feels so Nice in my hands, Paulina. Oh, it really does. If you don't want to do the prompts, let me show you this wibbly wobbly page I was doing earlier. It'll iron that flat. I was doing this before the stream. These are my leftover bits from yesterday's 
creating session and making like a master board. It, they'll get turned into tags. Or, but if you just want to do some something mindful and you can't quite get your head around the prompts today, you might want to take some scripts and scraps from the desk and add some glue. The scripts and scraps, and these can become just a background. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I know, Paulina. Yes, it's it. Moving is a stressful time, isn't it? You don't. You may have a a notebook and a pencil, maybe, or be able to doodle. Yeah, you can only do what you can do, Paulina. I know. Self. So, our art is a way of in creating is a way for us to practice self-care. Hmm. Put that up so you can see it. <laughs> but yes, if if you haven't got the opportunity, yes, it's hard. You'll be glad to get back to that, won't you, Paulina? Hmm. Right, I'm going to pull some prompts. One, we do six, two, three, four. I'm not looking. <laughs> Five. Let's see. Let's have one from down here. Seven, I think that. No, six. Oh, okay. I can't even count. Seriously. <laughs> what am I like? <laughs> hmm. There, that's that. What should we have? Ooh, fabric washi. Ah, oh, joy of joy. Have I got, here it is. Oh my goodness. This is so relaxing. If you haven't got any... If you haven't got any fabric pieces, you can use oh, fabric washi. You can use paper. There's many different ways to make. Some people use carpet tape and it's nice and thick. You can make fabric washi. You can make it nice and... Mm. This is right up my street. Now, this is sometimes when you do the prompts, this one might be enough and you might think, I'm going to spend my little creative time I've got here. I'm going to spend it making some fabric washi. Can you see that I've taken the, it's sticky and I've, I'm, yeah, I'm using the double-sided tape, but you can use carpet tape. Oh, a bit washing. Oh, you can get just a strip of lovely fabric and put some of the washi tape on the back of some fabric and make a, a piece all the same. I just love using up scripts and scraps, though. This prompt is my cup of tea. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was, Brenda, before you came in, I was telling everybody that you have a, a book template that you can make from magazines into books for the children. And you've got the flower shaped one and it's called an Ellison Press. Mm. I think that's incredible. Incredible, and it's so inspiring for the children, isn't it? If you haven't got, if you don't happen to have an Ellison press underneath the table, <laughs> you can cut it out of a magazine. Oh, dear. Mm, oh, thank you, Julia, dear. What is fabric washi? What is fabric washi? So, fabric washi is like our washi tape but I'm making some fab washi tape 
with fabric. So I'm using the double sided tape here to stick some fabric on. And when I finished it, I'd be able to peel that off and pop this in my journals. Let me see if I've got some already in my journals here. Because seriously, I love making this. Does that, thank you, Julia, does that answer the question? Here is some here. This is a mixture of fabric and paper. Hmm. Does that answer it? Um, how lovely. And I, I think, I'm feeling that this might go in my fairy journal because they're very foresty colours that I'm using here. And you can buy fabric washi too. You can. Can you? Yes, I haven't had fabric washi. I, I, I do love making my own. Yeah, just get a piece of fabric and um, put the tape on it too. Yes, there might be other ways of making fabric washi. I think people tend to have their own ways and ideas of doing things. I'm looking, I've got my little owl bag here. And I love looking, That's, this is a lovely big scrap here, gosh. <laughs> mm. That's a very generous scrap. <laughs> here we are. This is, this is so relaxing to me. You can't do fabric washi at the moment. No. If you don't, would you like another prompt, Little Pickles, or would you like to just pick one of your favourite, favourite washes and use one of your favourite washi tapes on your, on your artwork today? Let me know. It's, it's, these prompts really are do your own thing chicken wing because yeah no right or wrong way to do things yeah i think our only rule is have fun mm. it's if you're making a book spine my other magazine journal it's this one Oh, this one. Oh, that's this one. It's not fabric. This is when I used Ben's gaffer tape. If I go to Ben's, I can usually make a bit of washi because he always has gaffer tape. That's wider. That was with paper. I think that's Ben's gaffer tape, maybe. <laughs> ah, I love my owl bag too. So I've got this little piece of washi here. And let me, doesn't quite reach, but I can make that bigger. So let me show you what I'm doing. Mm. Yes, pick a favourite. Yes, I think that's the great thing about the prompts. It's just to get us started. Mm. <laughs> mm. Care and Cat talking about organisation. That's wonderful. Having things in their place. Yes. <laughs> and Marty saying, excuse me, I need to go and shop for fabric watching. Oh, Marty. <laughs> oh, dear. Using me as an excuse, I know. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm burning, burnishing it down there because it's it's ever so hard to get the sticky paper off at the back. Oh, little pickles, you could cover a page in all of your favourite washes. <laughs> oh, there's lovely Laura. Oh, there we are. How are you? So nice to see you. 
Oh, lovely to see you, Laura. Mm. Are you just with us for a little while, while before you go off to work? Oh, it's always lovely to see you, Laura, dear. There's lovely Birdie. Hi, Birdie. So nice to see you. Come on in. <laughs> oh, and Riri. <laughs> so lovely to see you. Mm, come on in. Mm. Come on in. You come on here finding me struggling. Struggle is real. There we are. So then I've got the sticky back there. Oh. Lovely. And then you can put it, I'm going to put it on the edge of my page like a border. And I will need to come down, maybe make it a little bit more later. So there we have it. Mm. Oh, Janet, yes. First prompt, I'm being slow. Fabric washing. <laughs> Any more questions, um, do, don't be afraid to ask. And I might miss it, but our lovely Julia is there to scoop up. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's have another prompt, shall we? <laughs> oh, so lovely to see you, Laura. Mm. Oh, I like this one. Use something nearest to you. What is literally nearest to me? Is it something on this side or here or here? Oh, look at this. Mm. This page is going to be delicious. This is nearest to me. Oh, it's a very fabric orientated. Mm. Wow, that was nearest to me. Oh, this is from Linda. Gorgeous. Would have been nice on a quilt, but it's so lovely to have the nice textures when I go through these journals because I do go through them because they're full of all the quotes from our wonderful community. If you've just come in, nothing can dim the lights which shine from within. Isn't that lovely? Mm, I'm going to, what's on the next page there? Ah, okay. I might, I'm going to just lay that down because I might do some slow stitching on that. I might stick it down. That's almost like wide washing. Mm. Oh, Becky has a prompt for me to add to the box. Yes. Let me pull out this drawer. Becky, and I pull out all the prompts we've had before. Yes, Becky, go for it. What is the prompt that you've got for me to add? Yes, I love it. Team effort here. Mm. <laughs> you did, you did some paper tape, didn't you, Kat? Yes, yes. <laughs> mm. Would you like tomorrow's video to be on making fabric washing? <laughs> it could be. I'm very low on the tape but that's not a problem we'll give it a go shall we i'll make a little video tomorrow hmm. that's going to go there use something from flo's desk yes so that was nearest to me julia do you need to show that name she's very obsessive of her I don't know ask her flo can i use something from your desk because you it is close to me do you mind Thank you. May I have the keys? Thank you. Wow. Oh, look what was on Flo's desk. Mm. Where did you get that from, Flo? She must have been at the magazines again. Oh, Beck's suggestion. Beck's. Oh, that was your. Oh, that was not Beck. Use something from Flo's desk. Use something. Oh, I love that prompt. Use something, something from Flo's desk. I'm going to make that the next prompt three. And I'm also going to put that back in the basket because he always has lovely things. So, Becky, an absolutely fantastic prompt. Thank you. 
So first prompt is fabric washi, and we'll make some on a video tomorrow. So you can see what I'm doing. And use something nearest to you. That's prompt two. And use something from Flo's desk is prompt three. So for you, if you haven't got a fairy with a desk on your desk, I think that's finding something tiny to use. Some small ephemera. I'm going to put small ephemera. Thank you, Becky. Cute, cute <laughs> prompt. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I do. Mm. Sis, oh, sis, so nice to see you here in the live. Oh, wonderful to see you. How lovely. I'm going to make like a oh, little cluster with these keys. What else have we got here from Flo's desk? Oh, matte paper. Mm. Oh, lovely. That can be like a tab that goes up there. Anything else on my desk? I'm, I'm hoovering up the desk now. What else have we got on here? Mm. Oh, lovely. These pictures of flowers. Oh, that would be lovely. Mm. There we are. So if you haven't got flow, a flow on your desk, you can be collecting little things from your desk. Um, Susan Lee, mm, transferring flow to your... <laughs> there we are. Oh, dear. So just a... Basically, it's a collection of little bits and pieces from the desk. Ah, <laughs> oh, teeny tiny ephemera. That's it. I like the word teeny tiny ephemera. <laughs> if you haven't got Laura. <laughs> well, you might have a desk fairy, but you just don't see it. They say it's, it's a matter of opening our eyes to the possibilities. Yes. <laughs> now Paulina says she really does need to get a desk fairy. <laughs> oh dear. Little pickles, if you always have things on your desk, tiny ephemera, right, that's it. And we'll make some, just some keeping it simple, shall we, tomorrow. Can't think what I was going to do, but that was wonderful. Mm, let's have another prompt. So we've got... What have we got? Am I up to date, Julia, dear? Um, thank you for all your help. I've got fabric washi. Use something nearest to you and use teeny tiny ephemera. <laughs> oh. Right, what am I up to here? You have a desk cat. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, this is, oh, Rebecca picked this prompt and it's a pig. Use a pig and for Julia, because Julia loves piggies. I'm going to have to look through my ephemera. I must admit, if I have come across little pigs, I tend to send them to Julia. <laughs> Let's just have a look through here, see if I have a, a little pink pig. Your pig doesn't have to be pink. It can be any colour. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Let me see. In here. Is it this one? No, here. Oh, my goodness. Christina. And she sent me the teddy bear. Sent me this little packet of ephemera. And it says, farm. Oh, how wonderful. I might make a whole farm page here. Oh, look. I've got our wellies on today. Is that... Oh, I've got all the animals at the farm. Oh, how wonderful. Got a little pig there. This is such a big page for such tiny ephemera, but I will make it work. 
<laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, do you know, Be uh, um, Becky, I thought that. Dog, dog hair and cat hair, and oh, I know. And, oh, dear. That's wonderful. Should we have another? Should we have another one? So that was lovely for the you got that prompt, something favourite for you. <laughs> Little Miss Piggy when you're a baby. <laughs> oh, how lovely. That's so lovely. <laughs> how precious you were with your pickles. Right, let me um, so I'm just just in case I've written something on the other side, but I haven't. That's just a lovely pattern. It says add lace. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, lace. I'm going to spend the time to get up. I'm loving this page, actually. I'm going to get up. Oh, I have some lace from Kimberly. Where is the lace that Kimberly sent me? I know it's probably in my basket. Oh, so I'll have to add that later. Yes, it's in my basket in the lounge because I have been slow stitching. So I'm going to put some lace there. Or you could use lace to stencil through. Or lace, lacy copy paper. Mm. Oh, yes, it's the February pages of pink. Yes, that's true. Hmm. Hmm. And green for March, yes, that's so true. Break the trend, and you could have a um, a green pig, <laughs> or a washi tape pig, or one made from scraps, a scrappy pig. <laughs> oh. Red for February, I think so. We will use red. And keep it red, shall we, Caroline? Definitely. Thank you, Julia, dear. Well, I have got plenty red here on my page. And the lace that I've got from Kimberly is pink. <laughs> Should we have another prompt? Scrapbook paper. Oh, how interesting. Scrapbook paper. Now, let me... Reach down, oh no, that's not scrapbook paper. Let me reach down here. Oh, here's the little pad that Ben and Sam bought me for my birthday. Check Bootsy's post. Miss Bootsy, popping in a bit. Hubby's been in surgery for three hours so far. Waiting room has no craft table. Oh, Roy. Yes, I'm so glad that we can keep you company. And I think instead of having a candle as we go out, let's light the candle now. The desk is fairly challenged. Can I, uh, can I find the matches? Yes, I can. If it's meant to be, I will. Yes. And Roy's hubby and also... Uh, the other people that we're keeping in our hearts as well this week as, the, as we go out this week so I will light the candle now and then we'll get we'll have a little chat and some numbers before we go yes um oh Marty yes let me see let me see the the prompts are fabric washing and use something nearest to you. Use clothes tag. No, that wasn't that one. Use something from your desk. Use something from Flo's desk. So that was small ephemera. So fabric washi. Use something near. Small, tiny ephemera. That's number three. And a pig. Little farmyard piggy. And lace and scrapbook paper. If you haven't got any scrapbook paper, use magazine. I've got one more prompt, but 
I'm going to light the candle now, which is great. It just, just slows down a little bit. Hmm. Lighting this candle for those that are worried and anxious. Blowing that candle out. But as we go out, we will be keeping each other in our hearts. Yes, definitely, definitely. Lynn, thank you. I'll, I'll write that down. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad that, yeah. Thank you, Julia. So I'm going to say, as we, just before we go, Lindy, I know you're, Lynn, you take care because you've got to nip, nip, nip off now. And I'm so glad that you, we could be part of this. I've got the last prompt here. Pop numbers in and I can send a little happy mail to you. I'm so glad you caught us too, Laura. Pop numbers in between one and 150. And then we can... Hmm. I've done six already. Oh, have I? Thanks. One, two, three, four, five. I can only see five, Julia Dish. Shall I add another one just in case? Button. The last prompt is button. Isn't that a delicious prompt? Wouldn't you just love to add a button to your page? <laughs> if you haven't got a button, you can make one out of cardboard and paper and fabric. <laughs> pop numbers in for yourself and, and put one in for yourself and then pop one in for other people too. Mm. Kathy dear, it's so lovely to see you. Did I actually mention you and, and, and not say? So lovely that you can join us today. Oh, there's Marty. That's a good number, one and a half. Is anyone going to put nine and three quarters in for Janice? <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. This is lovely paper. Oh, I love this one. Oh, look. Cat, that's right up your street, isn't it? I love it. Hmm. I think there's going to be plenty of room on this page for quotes. I've got this. Oh, yes, you see, I've come back this evening and write these down. Mm. Going to concentrate on you all now <laughs> and then come back to that. Mm. And it's this opportunity. Um, oh, Kim, hi. So nice to see you. Pop a number in, Kim. That's it, Marty's putting that in for Janice. Has to be, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Um, thank you to the gentle listeners. Um, I appreciate you so much. We all do. It's been so lovely that you've been able to spend this time with us. And, and replayers too. And I will be pulling a name out next week for the replayers and gentle listeners yes <laughs> oh, i take a random from the comments so so that was colleen's idea and uh, so that you don't get left out 
Ah, oh, there are three number 27s. Gosh, well, I'm going to be busy. If we can't change it, don't worry. I'll, I can just send happy mail. If that gets chosen, it's meant to be. Uh, yes, there are only little envelopes. Little envelopes with just little ATC or something from the desk. <laughs> from my heart to yours. Jean's put one in for Malaya because she was here earlier. <laughs> Great one, Tracy. <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty? Lovely. Um, ben and Sam bought me that from the works. Isn't that lovely? They said, what would you like? So I chose a few bits. <laughs> There's Joan. So nice to see you. Oh, thank you, Joan. That's kind of you. <laughs> You've put one in for Roy. Thank you. 101 Dalmatians. It's a good number. There's Janice. We put your number in, Janice. <laughs> she made it to work. <laughs> we put, might have put nine and three quarters in for you. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this is gone already. I will leave the quotes down in the description box and also on my community tab. If you're on your iPad, you won't be able to see the community tab, but if you use your phone or the la your laptop or computer, you can. And there's Penny, Penny from Florida. Hi, Penny, so nice to see you. Oh, pop a number in, Penny, and I will. Am I caught up, Julia, dear? Hmm. Thank you. The extra is at one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've done seven. It was extra. You're right. Julia's messaged me the prompts. <laughs> Lots of quotes available today. Becky, if you go to Becky's, I will, if that will be linked below, give me a little chance to do that. Be linked below because Becky flipped through a little journal this morning and super relaxing quotes there in the description box I should definitely be printing those off yes mm. right let's some um, go to random.org and oh, it's time to say goodbye I can't believe that <laughs> 132 who was on or nearest under 132 and I will, with my new little post-it note system, I have a system here. <laughs> I shall be enjoying making the envelopes. That's all dry now, complete with the fairy dust. I think that will make it through post. <laughs> Gail, yes, you have a great day too. If, yes, I'm just waiting to see who, yeah, Kat. Good morning. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Mm. <laughs> Kathy, so nice to see you. <laughs> mm. I'll just wait and then somebody will be able to tell me who is on and nearest. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, 101 for Roy from Julia. Wonderful. Wonderful. So for Roy. Yes, and Roy. He's probably gone now. And oh, I just hope he's got a little bit of slow stitching with us. Yes, yes. Mm. Oh, it was for Malaya. You put quite a few numbers in. You were just over, weren't you, Jean? I know. <laughs> I know. So it was, I I think you put a number in, it was for Malaya. But, well, we are sending you love. We're all sending you love, Roy and hubby. But it was for Malaya. I've messed that post-it note up all together. I'm Quibbling now. Mm. Was that from Jean or was that from Julia? I like to write that on the little note if I remember to put the note in. Mm. 
Oh, Jean put it in. Thank you, Jean. Jean put that in for Malaya. I will send happy mail to Malaya and her girls. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Tracy, it is my pleasure. I'm going to say thank you for joining me, replayers, gentle listeners, and to the people in chat. Thank you. Mm. Kimberly is mixed up. Are you mixed up, Kimberly? Oh, I like your little emoji there. <laughs> I, if you noticed, I never check the numbers. And if I'm in someone else's chat, I never do that. Those numbers just bounce around that page. <laughs> it is Julia. <laughs> and Janet gets so confused. Oh, thank you so much. Little pickles. Bye. Mm, take good care. Lisa Jane, take good care. Janet, bye. Janet, all the way over there in mm, Sue. Have you been gently sewing in the background? Thank you for your company, Sue. And hubby, too. Love to hubby. Oh, goodbye, Julia. Thank you. We have had a nice time. Thank you all for coming round. <laughs> There's always plenty um, cake in the tin and tea in the pot <laughs> and seats for everybody. Cathy, mm, oh, so nice that just to catch you at this little time, you popped your head round the door and I love that. Take care, Jean. <laughs> Oh, Kathy Jo, take good care, take good care. Mm. Oh, Lisa, that's so lovely. You are so lovely. Oh, there's Susan. Have a wonderful day in San Francisco, Susan. Mm. Together is our favourite place to be. Oh, together is our favourite place to be. Isn't that lovely? Together is our favourite place to be. A bit of shorthand there. Bye, Amy. You take care, Amy. And Beth. Lovely Beth. Beth streams tomorrow, don't you, Beth? In the evening. Mm. Take care, Amy. Enjoy all the lovely art you do. And Caroline, take good care. I've got to a video of Caroline's to watch soon. You put one up with your beautiful art this morning. I'll be watching that later. Mm. Take care, Caroline. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it's Tina. God's creation in love. Good morning. We, I'm so glad you caught us. We're just about to go out of the door, but it's so lovely to catch you. Take care, Tracy. Oh, goodbye, care. Have a wonder-filled week. Yes, yes. Mm. Nature fills us with wonder, doesn't it, care? Mm. And there's Birdie heading out the door to the. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Birdie, sending you so much love. Yes, and. Rest and recoup when you come home. Definitely. We'll be thinking of you, Birdie. Definitely. Mm. Take good care. Mm. Mm. Jeannie. <laughs> so nice. I'm, I'm so glad you finally made a lie. Yes, yes. It's all about being together. But the replayers enjoy the chat and reading the chat as well yes yes <laughs> take care cat oh have a good week have a nice coffee <laughs> and be and a creative week oh yes oh i woke up to cat's video this morning decorating an index card wonderful mm. Becca's not on today. She's on a cruise ship, but she has a little video up of her cruise ship, doesn't she? If you want to pop over there. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. 
Take good care. And Becky, rest and heal well. And thank you for your positive quotes this morning. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jean loves the Rolodex cards. The cat does as well. Mm. Bye from young Freddy. Who, me? Oh, you get an end of, you get an end of the stream biscuit, don't you? Mm. And it's probably time for me to say goodbye. Do you want to come over here and get one of these? They're rather nice ones, mm, aren't they? Oh, thanks, Claire. <laughs> oh, there's Penny. Take care, Penny. And Hubby, too. Take good care. See you on Thursday when it's your life, um, Penny. Oh, Paulina, I'm glad you were able to join us, too. Hmm. Wow. From Freddie and I, I better put the phone down. Yes? Better put the phone down. Hmm. Freddie was quite entertaining today. We've been entertaining because I kept saying tea so much. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs> it has been lovely to share this time together. Mm, it really has. Mm. Mm. Right, I'll put the phone down. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye, Freddie. Mm.